हेलो प्रेडी पीपल वेलकम बैक टू इंडी स्वाद आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यूर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल एंड आर इन द पिंक ऑफ यूर हेल्थ सो द रेसिपी आई ब्रिंक टू यू टूडे इज दैट ऑफ फिश फ्राई एज लॉन्ग एज आई नो फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ आर सो कंज्यूम मीट फिश इज एन ऑल टाइम फेवरेट एस्पेशली वेर इट कम्स टू फ्राइड फिश हो माई गॉड आई कुड हैव इट एवरी डे बट मेनी ऑफ अस थिंक दैट इट इज क्वाइट कम्बरसम टू मेक फिश Let us make it easy for you today. In a mixer jar, take one star anise, eight pieces of clove, one inch of cinnamon that is dalchini, one inch of roughly chopped ginger, one petal of chavitri that is mace, one pod of peeled garlic. and one medium sized onion now we are going to grind all these ingredients into a smooth paste as you can see i have finely ground them here now we will be squeezing the juice out of this mixture of spices in our recipe today we are going to use only the juice and the rest of the pulp can be stored and used whenever you make any other curry for the next step Take 500 grams of fresh fish cut into thin slices. Add a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoon of red chili powder, half teaspoon of turmeric powder, half teaspoon of coriander powder. The juice extracted from the mixture of spices. Half teaspoon of homemade garam masala powder. Take a piece of lemon and squeeze one teaspoon of lemon juice onto the fish pieces. Add two teaspoon of cooking oil, and now mix all these ingredients with the fish pieces. Mix them in such a way that each and every fish piece is thoroughly coated with the spices. Now we will cover them with a lid and leave them to marinate for thirty minutes. After the completion of 30 minutes, place a pan on the stove and add 3 tablespoons of cooking oil. Frying the fish like this is a healthier option because there is no deep fry and only a little amount of oil involved. While the oil heats, take some semolina that is suji and keep it ready for your fish. Now uncover the lid and mix the marinated pieces of fish once again. After that, Coat each piece with semolina on all sides as shown in the video. After coating them, place the pieces of fish one by one in the oil. Be careful as you lower them into the oil and maintain a low to medium flame. After cooking the fish on a low flame for 5 minutes on one side, we are going to flip them to cook the other side for another 5 minutes. You'll slowly observe that the color of the fish pieces is changing. Now let us cover the fish pieces with a lid while leaving some gap and cook for another 4 minutes. It is important to close the lid while leaving some gap because we want our fish to turn crispy. However, if we cover it completely, it is going to get cooked on steam, become softer and ultimately lose its crispiness. If you want to check whether your fish is completely fried or not, you can use a fork or a toothpick to do so. The first batch of a fried fish is ready, so we'll take the pieces one by one out of the oil and lay them aside. If you want, you can lay them on a tissue as well. Fry all the fish pieces in a similar manner, and at the end you will see that all the oil has been absorbed and there is no more residue left. So we are ready to enjoy our delicious yummy yummy fish pieces. So guys that's all for today. If you like the recipe do subscribe to our channel Indie Swad and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Do try it out on your own, share it with your friends and let us know about your queries, comments or suggestions in the comment section below. See you again in a new video with a new recipe. Till then goodbye. Take care